Hello everyone, welcome back to Excel Fort. My name is Fomi. Today we've got an exciting video as we take a regular clustered bar chart in Power BI and transform it into a dynamic dot plot chart to showcase growth in an effective way using error bars. Let's get started. Bar charts are fantastic for displaying data by categories, but they do have their limitations, especially when it comes to showcasing growth effectively. This clustered bar chart represents our data, but when we want to emphasize changes or growth, things can get a bit messy, making it hard to see which category is growing or shrinking. Now, to overcome this limitation and create a more effective growth visualization, let's introduce the concept of error bars. Error bars are really useful because they provide a clear indication of variability and growth and easily highlight the positive and negative changes. What I have here is a basic clustered bar chart. I'm showing product names, last year revenue and current year revenue. So in order for me to convert this chart into a chart that looks like this where I'm highlighting the change from last year to this year, first step is to have a look at the measures I have here. I've got two measures, revenue last year and revenue current year. Let me go and first remove revenue current year. I just don't need that. So first uh, I need to go and change the color so that it will be easy on my eyes of this bar. Let me put it uh, to a light a blue. Fine. Now what I'm going to do here is to get the last year revenue and show the growth or the decline from last year to this year. For that I'm going to use error bus. Let me collapse everything and go to the error bar section now currently i have only one measure here which is uh, last year under options you have enabled to be turned on now it allows me to add measures for the upper and lower bound so for the upper bound i'm going to add uh, the positive variance or the positive growth and for the lower bound i'm going to add the negative growth fine i've already created two measures the first measure uh, is positive variance which basically check if the revenue growth is greater than zero then it shows the revenue growth similarly for negative growth i have checked if it is less than or equal to zero and revenue growth is shown here fine now how the revenue growth is calculated this uh, simple measure where i minus revenue last year from the revenue current year now under error bus i already have revenue last year selected and for the upper i am going to choose uh, positive variance and change this to a relative so the relationship to the measure should be relative so that uh, you see here 6.2 million is the last year revenue with the change with the increase now in the current year we have 8 million if you add for the negative on the lower bound i have the negative variances right which is a relative already as i selected already it shows relative now it shows uh, the drop in sales like for example here 4 million was last year sales it has dropped to 3.7 million so this is how the error bus work now with this let me go and apply some formatting to the error bus so under options you've got uh, the upper and lower then you have the bar right let me increase the width to two and change the marker shape to an arrow so it will be pointing to the right direction the positive will be to the right and the decline the negative will be to the left that looks good now uh, let me talk about the error labels here so we can turn on the error labels now currently i have turned on so it shows the uh, amount absolute amount basically it's showing the current year value i have the previous year 6.2 the growth uh, when you add the growth to that then it becomes 8 million but if you want to show the change value you can choose relative numeric it shows the change amount increase of 1.7 million here the drop of uh, 0.4 million right also you have the option of showing the percentage increase or decrease by choosing relative uh, 
percentage here you see sales has increased by or the revenue has increased by 27 percent and here there's a drop of 9.13 percent so these are the options now if you just want to show only the error bars you can just go to the bars option here and under colors let me make it white so you get the background color now it shows uh, only the error bus it looks like a dot plot or sort of a dumbbell chart uh, where you you can also see the magnitude and the change at the same time right so for example paseo is uh, the highest in terms of revenue last year and this year you see a 27 percent has increased caratera has 111 percent increase but it is the lowest in terms of sales last year but it has increased in the current year one missing feature under error bar here is you don't have separate formatting options for upper and lower bounds so you have a common bar option here where you'll be able to choose the colors right now uh, even the markers if i want to choose a different marker point for the lower and uh, a different one for the upper it's not available and here what i really need to show is like uh, wherever i see growth i want to show it in green and the decline should be in red for that i have a different approach uh, I've already created another measure basically this measure is a copy of the revenue last year so I named it as revenue last year too let me uh, drag and drop it to my x axis so I will have two measures the colors have reset and uh, let me change it to white again now if you go back to the error bars option you can collapse all the opened uh, sections here and go to the error bus under error bus now let me go back to last year measure which i used originally and uh, under options let me uh, remove the negative and keep only the positive so what i'm doing here is i am using error bars only for the upper bound for the uh, the first measure which is revenue last year and this is fine and also let me color it as green so this is a positive change great now let me go and pick last year two measure turn it on i'm going to bring negative growth and drop it on lower bound i need to change it to relative here and uh, the color should be let's pick this let's call it red and the width should be two marker shape should be arrow now this is showing me green and red so it's clearer now right i can turn on the error label so it shows uh, the absolute value let's pick the percentage now this looks great now we have converted a regular bar chart which is this to a different chart where you will be able to clearly see the change as well as the revenue for the current year and last year so you have the option of adding even a page tool tip to this uh, to show more information right instead of showing these percentages you can also apply your own custom labels right let's see how we can do that i have already created a measure for the custom label let me show you that this is my tax uh, measure for it first variable where i calculate uh, the percentage change so revenue growth is divided by revenue last year here then i build my format text so i am using unica to show the positive change symbol up arrow and uh, this is for the negative and the third one is for the zero value i use format function to format it using my uh, growth text here then this is the result so this will produce uh, the label for my series so where am i going to apply this let me close this first i need to turn off the error bus uh, labels let me turn off the error labels for both the meshes now i don't see any labels so what i'm going to do is first go to the air data labels section and turn on data labels and uh, i don't need data labels on revenue last year measure and for the last year two measure this is what i'm going to use but uh, not the amount that appears here i'm going to go into the values and pick uh, 
custom labels so power bi allows you to create your own measure to assign as custom label so uh, the growth label measure i have assigned i'm going to drag and drop it here now you will see uh, the change positive and negative you can go one step further by applying colors to this based on positive and negative for that uh, let me um, go to the data labels and uh, under values you have this fx this means you can use conditional formatting to change the color based on a certain condition so now if you click on fx i am going to use uh, rules based on you can choose the measure revenue growth so if the revenue growth is uh, greater than zero I'm going to use uh, green and uh, if it is below zero I'm going to use red okay now you see the percentages and the symbols correctly appearing over here our, now our chart shows the revenue and the growth with percentage change fine with this we've come to an end i hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more videos thank you very much